What's up? How are you guys this weekend? We are making a high quality organic beef udon recipe. So if you guys are going out to Halloween, picking up some little Asian thotties, boys or girls, whatever you're into, hey, now you can tell them, no. You're like cultured, you know? You're into the weeb stuff. So as with most of my recipes, guys, this isn't exactly using classic, classic ingredients. You can switch some things up here and there. This is the healthiest, highest quality, least inflammatory version possible. And let me show you guys how we're going to do that with the ingredient selection. The star of the show is our organic udon noodles, which I got these on Amazon. I think they're three or four dollars per package, but super, super high quality, really one of the best types of wheat uh, that you can eat in general. And you should feel good eating these, even if you're gluten intolerant, even if you don't usually eat it. So uh, this brand's really good. I think I'll put it on my Amazon store later. I've really been enjoying this and eating it every single day for the most part for a few weeks now. And then the most important flavoral component of this recipe is our reinforced beef stock. Uh, so I have several videos now of me making different types of bone broth, soups, stocks. You know, we take the collagen broth from Frankie's free range meat. We put more meat in that. We pressure cook it overnight. And then we have a very flavorful, very nutritious beef stock. You could add onions, garlic, whatever you want to this, but it's important that the base tastes good. And in the udon, just for our vegetable choice, I have some onions here and some shiitake mushrooms, both organic, of course, to reduce the agrochemical content. I like the flavor and it's adding minerals as well as a good amount of gut motility. We're not going to use all of this, uh, just a portion for one serving size. And for the meat, I'm using hanger steak from Frankie's Strange Meat, really one of my favorite cuts of steak. It's very flavorful. It's pretty tender. And for the other flavoring components, uh, we have some white wine. Uh, I believe the traditional recipe just uses rice wine. We have some coconut aminos as an alternative to soy sauce. And we have some cane sugar, which is actually typically used in the recipe. And the main other significant difference is Udon is almost always topped with scallions or green onions. I actually don't really like those that much. So we're just using the white onion and the mushrooms. So we got our pan nice and hot over here, guys. I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil in it. And then we're just gonna saute the mushrooms and the onions. Nice pinch of salt to season it. If you want this to look Instagram or Pinterest worthy, you might wanna cut your mushrooms and onions a little nicer. You can cook them separately so that you can play arts and crafts with your food in the wooden bowl that you bought at home goods. A few of you guys in the comments are like, eh, your recipes never look as good as the... Guys, if I wanted to, if you wanna spend three times as long making this and make it look really, really good, yeah, you could do that. But, I mean, this is maybe gonna take 10, 15 minutes total to make from start to finish. It's gonna be delicious, it's gonna be healthy. Presentation-wise, we're not exactly doing the uh, recipe book yet. So now we're going to get our udon broth ready with two to three cups of our high quality stock. And traditionally they'll also add like dashi or seaweed or different things. The reason I'm not doing that here is because those are typically full of chemicals, pollutants from the ocean, not really that healthy for you. And then we're going to lightly season this broth. So a pinch of salt, about a tablespoon of the coconut aminos, a tablespoon of white wine, and then a teaspoon of sugar. So we're just gonna warm this up on the back of the stove until everything is ready. So now we're gonna slice up the hanger steak. And you could really use anything for this. Skirt steak, filet mignon, ribeye, New York strip. Cause all we're doing is just slicing it uh, nice and thin. So I'm just gonna trim this up a little bit. We're making about two servings worth of udon. So we need about half a pound of meat here. And you could slice this however you want to have it in the soup traditionally. It's, it's about as thin as possible. I'm just gonna season it with some salt. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to the mushrooms and onions to kind of deglaze the pan, steam them, cook them through a little more. And then we're gonna boil some water for the udon noodles. So in the water for the udon, just a nice pinch of salt and a little bit of oil. So the mushrooms and onions have plenty of color on them, cooked completely through. These are finished. And if you want, you can cook the steak in this pan as well, but I prefer to be able to portion out 
each of the ingredients when I'm making the udon just to like customize it. So we're gonna use a separate pan for the meat. Pan's nice and hot, so just a tiny bit of oil. And then we put our steak in. Now you want this pan super, super hot because we wanna get nice browning on this without cooking it that much as the meat is very thin. And all you really want is about 30 seconds because even though this meat still looks a little red and raw, the residual heat in the pan is gonna cook it through. So we're gonna turn off the heat in the pan and finish it with some coconut aminos and a little bit of sugar. So maybe a tablespoon or two of coconut aminos, half a teaspoon of sugar. So we're just gonna boil off the aminos and that's gonna concentrate the sweetness and more flavor in the meat. And just in time, the water is boiling for the udon noodles. And just be ready when you do this because these cook very, very quickly, only four minutes. So make sure all the other components of the recipe are finished. All right, so after about five minutes, the udon noodles are done. And when you ask me if you could reuse the water to make them again, I mean, there's a lot of starch in it, maybe once or twice, but so you don't wanna let the noodles sit because they'll start sticking together. So we'll get them in our final serving bowl. Then we have our seasoned udon broth. And I don't really like udon with the traditional amount of broth, which this is, you know, it's a lot of soup. I prefer a much smaller amount. So, you know, even half a cup to a cup of beef broth is gonna be plenty to flavor the noodles. And now we just add the mushroom onions as well as the beef. There we have it guys. Mushroom beef, udon, delicious broth. All right guys, let's see how this compares to the regular, quick, easy udon I've been making all week. Yeah, adding the wine, the coconut aminos, just those slight seasonings to the, the beef stock do make a pretty big difference. I like the hanger steak, adding the coconut aminos and a little bit of sugar at the end there, kind of gives it that like Asian flair that's typical to, to when you go to these restaurants. Now the way you're supposed to eat this is with like a Asian soup spoon, which I don't have, but you know, you would take, you know, the broth with the noodles and the meat or whatever, and then have it together. Very, very good guys. So I'm going to enjoy my lunch. And as with all of the recipes and all the things I've been eating over these past two years now, everything is really designed to be as minimally inflammatory as possible. And you should feel excellent eating this. But you guys can go to frank if you'd like to support me through all of my businesses and help me continue to provide you guys with my understanding of the best health information. FrankEasterRangeMeat.com, guys, we have the hanger steak, we have Bolivian rose salt, and uh, I think that's everything we used in this recipe, but I'll put the noodles on my Amazon shop for you guys later. As usual, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining, guys, and I'll see you for the next video. Maybe we'll do a live stream tomorrow instead of a critique or a, a review, but we'll see.